The northeast of Nigeria is a fabulous country of an ending beauty. It has some of the finest landscapes in the country and forces vast and richly fertile agricultural land supported by multiple river systems. Within this mix is its rich diversity. The character and economic conditions of this ethnic and cultural diversity is defined in the main by their environment. The Northeast is a picture of rugged and hostile trails in especially parts of Taraba, Adamawa, and Borno states. As a consequence, hundreds of communities are hard to reach and alienated on matters of development. In parts of Yobe and Borno, invasive desert environment moves out scores of people and takes over their settlements. Nigeria's Northeast is also emerging from the effects of over a decade of insurgency. It is an upheaval that created mass dislocation, loss of livelihoods and loved ones. Against the background of their peculiar situations, the six states in the Northeast identify with the programs of the Community and Social Development Project CSDP as a workable pathway to addressing their challenges of poverty and social infrastructure. This program is a partnership between the federal government and the World Bank, and it is about building new natural resources and infrastructure or rehabilitating them. By design, the program targets poor and vulnerable communities in the Northeast and adapts a simple paradigm, the principle of bottom-up approach to development initiatives. The CSDP approach, which is centered on community-driven development, where the groups, the poor, the poor, uh, the vulnerable groups are the poor people in the communities, are the ones who conceive of their need, and the resources is put, development resources is put at their disposal, and they go ahead to use it to meet their development need. This is unique. It is unique, and that is the secret of the success of CSDP. In the implementation of CSDP, the federal government seeks and obtains financial assistance from the World Bank and lends it to participating states. It does so through the Federal Project Support Unit, FPSU, in actual fact, the head of the Federal Project Support Unit is identified as the National Coordinator, Community and Social Development Project. CSDP has a very organized structure, from the federal to the state, to the local government, and down to the community. And over 90% of our structure is institutionalized by law. We have legal backing. All our state, 30 participating state agencies are backed, are set up by law, passed by the State House of Assembly. So they are, uh, there is legislation and there is funding support also, both from the state government and then as it is now from the World Bank. At the local government level, we have our local government review committee. They are also backed by edits, by law set up by the local government. CSDP in the Northeast is an objective reality, a conspicuously live endeavor, the realization of dreams of many communities who hitherto believed it won't happen. The program intervenes in eight sectors, water, health, education, and transportation among many. Again, as far as the Northeast is concerned, the very poor, the vulnerable, and the internally displaced persons are at the heart of the initiative. In Gombe State, we have been to several projects there and the communities we met are overly happy. The people of Galdimari in our local government area toil to link up with the world outside them, especially during rainy season. A stream creates a big buffer for them, them and some 20 village communities around them. 
this is the only pathway they have to the world outside. After years of toil, they contacted CSDP in Gombe for support to build a mini bridge to connect them with the open society. Their endeavor paid off and it is a relief everywhere for all the communities in the area. We have about 906 community strong groups, micro projects we supported across the state and uh, they, are, they are caught across the eight sectors of our mandate. So there are a lot of landmarks. As I said, when we did the outcome study, we have seen the landmarks, we have seen the revelations, we have seen the testimonies of the communities, what they have, what, what they have seen and what they are enjoying from the micro projects they have been supported and uh, they, they implemented themselves. So by and large, we are, we are, we are the project have uh, to some extent uh, surmounted the challenges we have faced during the implementation of the project. The CSDP supported a disabled association with grants where they built a skill acquisition center. We find people with the limitation in their legs who only beg to find livelihood, now living a life of prosperity and pride. Begging for them now is a distant memory. They are shoemakers now, weavers, tailors and owners of manifold other skill set jobs that guarantee them decent occupation and income. In Duku, in the company of the National Coordinator of CSDP, Dr. Alukarim Obaji, homage was paid to the Emir of Duku. Major stakeholders in the delivery of CSDP project have shown genuine satisfaction with the implementation of the program across the Northeast at the level of feedback they received and the monitoring they commissioned. For us, as representatives of the people, we have seen the benefits we have derived from all the projects they have executed, ranging from construction of feeder roads, construction of culverts, construction of boreholes, solar and, and otherwise, uh, construction of schools, hospitals, dispensaries, and what have you. So they have done wonderfully well for us in the state. And there is no, no local government or any nook or cranny that you go to that will not find a project executed by CSDP in the state. Among all the projects that they have carried in the, across the state, I've known them for years. So they are the only one that I know that they have really reached out to the grassroots. I've witnessed many of their projects that they have started and completed on time. They are always prompt and they are always committed to their words. We are always meeting with them and they are really working. There are issues that create anxiety for the people too, across the benefiting states. The fact that the project ends June 2020. They are worried that at exactly the time when every state recognizes how influential CSDP has been in changing their life, that it should not go.